Hello there, welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis website YouTube channel. I'm your host Jeremy, the owner of Video Gamers Oasis. I've been taking a little break uh, from making new videos, just resting and charging my battery, you could say, for the holidays, spending time with my family, ones I love. But I wanted to take the time to make this original video uh, to talk about something that's very close to my heart that happened recently. Uh, many of you have already found out, uh, many hardcore Nintendo fans already know this, but just to let, just to let folks know who perhaps you didn't know this, uh, Masayuki Yomura, creator of the NES and Super NES, has died December 6, 2021. He was born June 20th, 1943. And I would like to spend uh, a very brief video uh, to, uh, to talk about a blog article and then we'll discuss. This is from nintendolife.com. You can check the article yourself. I've included a blog article link in the video description below. Make sure to read it yourself. <clears throat> so let's read it together. Masayuki Yamura, creator of the, e the NES and Super NES, has passed away. I think we have accomplished all the things we could accomplish with console games. And this was written by Damien McFerrin yesterday at 4.20 a.m. Here's a photograph of the late, great uh, Masayuki Yamura holding a very old NES controller. It has been revealed that NES and Super NES lead architect Masayuki Yamura passed away on the passed away on December 6th at the age of 78. The Famicom, the system that would become the NES in the West, was the brainchild of Yamura, who joined Nintendo as an engineer from Sharp in 1972 at a time when it was tentatively exploring the possibilities of electronic entertainment. <clears throat> One of his first roles was to help with Nintendo's range of location-based light gun games. When Nintendo R and D2 was created, Yamura was placed in charge and he was instrumental in the development of Nintendo's color TV game systems, the company's first tentative foray into the realm of domestic video games. These were very basic gaming systems that had relatively crude built-in titles. Yamura began work on the Famicom Yamara began work on the Famicom in 1981, following a demand from Nintendo president Hiroshi Yamachi that he create a device capable of playing arcade games on a TV, but with games that came on interchangeable cartridges. Combined sales of the Famicom and its Western counterpart the NES total 61.91 million units. 20 million of those were in Japan alone. R and D2 would not only produce the Famicom, but also its equally beloved successor, the SNES, or Super Famicom in Japan, it was known as that. He was also involved with the development of the Japan-only Famicom Disk System and Super Famicom Satellaview, Satellaview, pardon me, as well as the iconic NES Zapper. 
It was just hardware that Yamara had a hand in during his time with the company. He also served as producer on several titles, including Ice Climber, Clue Clue Land, and a trilogy of sports titles, soccer, baseball, and golf. Many of those games I remember playing as a kid. Yamura retired from Nintendo in 2004 and became a professor at Ritsumekan University in Kyoto. And the organization broke the sad news of his passing today. Speaking to Nintendo Life in 2020, during a rare visit to the UK, Yamera discussed one of the highlights of his career. And he, he said, The best time that I remember was when we completed developing the Famicom. Back then, we didn't know if it was going to be popular or not, but the fact that we are able to complete the product was very satisfactory. That was the first mission, to make sure to complete developing the device, and I did it, so I was happy. Speaking to Twitter, Smash Brothers, and Kirby creator Masahiro Sakure, I hope I pronounced that right correctly, you know, leave comments below, had this to say. It has been announced that Masayuki Yumara, the creator of the family computer, has passed away. I pray for your soul. NES is the game console that I was most influenced by. Without this, it wouldn't be there. It's no exaggeration to suggest that Nintendo, the wider world of video gaming, could be very different today had we not be benefited from Yamura's immense contributions. Everyone at Nintendo, life, would like to extend their heartfelt thoughts of Yamura's friends and family. And here we have a Twitter post from Archipel, uh, at sign sail to Archipel. And here is some, a little bit of a bio on Masayuki. Masayuki Yamura, the former lead architect of the NES and Super NES, has passed away. He was one of the genius minds behind some of our best game memories. And this was written or posted uh, 3.36 a.m. December 9th, 2021. So there you have it, folks. There is a bit of a personal vlog. It means a lot to me, to my heart. Um, Masayuki Yumara, thank you so much for your contributions to the video game world. I believe, personally, you have permanently influenced my childhood. I remember playing years ago as a kid, playing with the NES games. I played a little bit of the S Super NES, but my biggest chunk of my life was playing regular NES games, the Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3, Legend of Zelda, the Final Fantasy series. I even have some lesser known titles like Logi Man and and I have some some classic uh you know some classic sports games, but I really love the the Nintendo uh the NES cartoon characters that that were trademarked from Nintendo. They made a very big impression on me. They will forever uh, influence how I enjoy gaming. They're, they're something very colorful and cartoony and almost like a Saturday morning cartoon taste and flavor to the characters. I just love the NES games. There's, so, there's something so pure and something so wholesome about the NES games as well as Super NES games that you just can't get from modern gaming. No disrespect to modern gaming, but I just something about the classic NES and Super NES game characters especially. There's something so refreshing and the Saturday morning cartoon flavor to them 
so much fun, so much delight, hours and hours of adventure and, and action and puzzles. I really appreciate what Masayuki Yumari has done in contributing to the gaming world, and he has forever influenced the world, and he will never be forgotten. And so what I thought I'd be appropriate and, and, and honorable, as honorable as possible, I'd like to burn a little incense in his memory because um, this is not someone I take lightly. He really, really made a, a big impression on us gamers, uh, hardcore, softcore, retro, whatever you want to call it. doesn't matter. He influenced the gaming uh, genre. So I burn a little incense in his honor. May his, uh, may his spirit and soul rest in eternity with lots of lots of rewards. I do appreciate Masayuki Yorimara. Thank you so much for your contribution.